Hello everyone, Canon Loy here, back with more Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet, and this time I'm actually going to show some gameplay with my second profile with Tia. Now, as of right now, I, as far as I'm aware, Tia will not actually be added to the game. So I put it upon myself to make Tia the main character. So pretty much trying <laughs> tried to make her as short as possible of course this is the younger shorter version of Tia not the grown-up version at the end of hollow realization because they don't actually have her older version hair as an option so what I have her using is strictly swords and assault rifles and this is her stats as of right now and in the last part I did mention that she was level 59 so pretty much like nothing in luck cuz I mean luck is probably more more useful to melee character than dexterity to a degree but I think some of her skills actually do require dexterity or at least the different forms kind of do so um so her s strength stat is, is of course the highest stat because it directly affects melee damage and her melee damage is okay i guess but it isn't amazing so with swords i am actually using the dlc sword that you get from I think either the season I think it was from the season pass uh, I'm not entirely sure but you get a rank 8 weapon with 855 melee power sword and it requires 50 strength and 30 dexterity I think um, I primarily added to dexterity because swords for some reason require dexterity quite a lot of dexterity actually and as you can see here this rank 6 sword only does 565 uh, 565 and the problem that I have with this is that I was able to use the sword at roughly level 30 and and it was only decent at level 30 and this weapon from what I can tell anyway is probably from an it would probably be a drop from like a level 120 area and I was able to use it at level 30 and it was only decent it wasn't amazing it wasn't overpowered really well unless you use the sword weapon art but the weapon wasn't really super amazing and this rank 6 sword that I have gotten this is from the demon cave which is level roughly 90 to 100 ish and swords I like I mentioned before in the I think it was either the previous part or the part before that is that swords I really don't I I like the idea of swords but their execution of them is is not the best and, and and I'll show why when we get out into the field so what are the skill well I should just go straight to skill sets here what do I primarily use well I have speed form 2 power form 2 gun stinger and sliding shot and then I just have the sword skill sharp nail for Vorpal Strike 2, Horizontal Square, and Sword Barrier. Another thing that I have noticed is that pretty much to use swords against any enemy with a gun, you pretty much need Sword Barrier. Because otherwise, they're going to constantly aim for your head and just kill you in seconds. So you almost are required to get Sword Barrier, except you don't get Sword Barrier from Kirito until pretty much until you get to the last area the or at least the forgotten wood area which is 
well, it is the last area, but the, I would classify the Flukel Dungeon as the very last area. So, for Tia especially, I've tried to make her into a much more aggressive playstyle than my main character with... Well, my main character uses grenade launchers and pistols or SMGs, so this character has... I specifically wanted her to have assault rifles and swords, because I honestly think that if Tia was added to the game, that would be probably what she would use. I mean, maybe she would use like Gatling guns or, and swords, I don't know, but for sure at least one thing in swords. So for swords especially, the skills, you pretty much need the skills in order to deal deal better than average damage like the normal damage is well then again the normal damage is probably like as much damage as sword nail one sharp nail one so you pretty much need like higher levels of the sword skills in order to be pretty effective out on the battlefield here with swords so I definitely think that swords definitely need a another buff because well I'll, I'll show I'll show you right now so I'm gonna put on speed form uh, power form and everything and I'm gonna switch to swords and I'm even gonna use the melee booster which boosts your melee damage but reduces your accuracy which is if you're a sword user that really doesn't matter so right there i uh, remember i'm using a rank 8 sword which probably drops from like a level 120 area. and from using vorpal strike 2 not even level 1 but level 2 i only did 3000 damage and this is and i'm using a rank 6 assault rifle here against these guys and if I aim for their head I do almost 800 damage and it's a machine gun so you can really get off you, you can really get off those hits with the assault rifle a whole lot easier than than the sword the horizontal square 2 is probably the best skill. Like right there, uh, sharp nail 2 did roughly 10,000 damage, which isn't bad, but it definitely could be better. But 4 full strike 2 for some reason just does like 4,000 damage and that's it. It's, it's really poor and... <laughs> I, I just really don't don't think swords are <laughs> the best of options. Like if I was using a gun, like these scorpions probably wouldn't hit me at all because I would keep my distance enough to not get hit by them at all. So and I'm gonna show off sword barrier here. So basically everything in front of you, uh, every bullet in front of you, gets blocked by your sword, e some, sometimes even while you're using your sword skills. So that's why I pretty much say that it's, it's more or less a required skill for swords, especially for the higher level areas. I mean, it, if, if I was actually using that, I bet Death Gun would have been really easy to kill. And also, you need the level 2 of each of the skills in order to act well, except for Horizontal Square, I think you might need level 3 or something to be able to activate your sword skills in midair. So there's that as well. And this is the sword weapon art. It's basically horizontal square on steroids. 
because if you saw on that last hit, you do like over 20,000 damage for the last hit, and it's an area of effect, which makes it incredibly useful on taking out enemy uh, PvP enemies. And that's not what I meant to press. So, yeah, I... I think that in comparison to a build that rely that goes high in dexterity uh, or even or even a gun using these using like sliding sliding shot and stuff is going to be more effective than using a sword now I will admit that sword barrier is really good so I mean you could say that kind of balances it out, but I really don't think the lack of damage really makes up for it. Or maybe I just have to wait until I get to the point where I get like a rank 10 sword and buff it with like melee damage, physical attack, just get all the buffs <laughs> that would um, that would really increase the damage. And also swords, unless you're using a sword skill, has really limited range too, which I don't really like either. Another thing to mention is that when using the sword, for unlocking the sword skills, I mean, you need high agility, which means if you want to be a pure strength build, and you don't really care about dexterity, uh, you don't care about agility at all, even though that I do believe that agility does really help with being a sword build, but if you don't care about agility at all, and you wanted it to be like one <laughs> have one agility and just have most of your points in strength you aren't going to be able to do that because all of the sword skills require a lot of agility and they don't really require very that much strength which honestly doesn't really make sense to me i would think they would require more strength than agility because strength directly influences your melee damage but yeah, that's pretty much everything that I, I wanted to say about swords. I, I think I think it is a viable option, but I really think that just having a build with high dexterity and aiming for weak points is a lot more effective than a sword build. Oh, and sword barrier does not block grenades or melee attacks. So there is that, and I keep pressing the wrong button. So I don't do horizontal square. Like, look, look, I'm almost... You have to get pretty much right next to them in order to attack them with melee unless you're using his skill. And also keep in mind that some bosses, like Melanir and stuff, you can't <laughs> realistically hit with a sword because it's a flying enemy. So do keep that in mind as well. If you want to make a pure sword build like Kirito, um, you're going to have to keep that in mind for sure. So yeah, maybe I, maybe I just need to get to a higher level or just get to the point where I get a uh, melee, like get rank level, rank 8 swords that I can put like uh, all of the mods to increase the melee attack of it to make it a lot more effective. But I really think that having a high dexterity build is definitely 
more effective for the most part in comparison to swords. So if you're really good at swords and and you make it work really well, I, I I will applaud you because it takes more skill as well. It I kind of feel like it's kind of possibly similar to how Borderlands 2 did the Zero Assassin build, where it's extremely dangerous and it might not be worth the the payout, but it's definitely it definitely can be a lot more fun to play too. Um, definitely when I was trying to level, le level up Kia here, that having a more aggressive playstyle using using gu Gun Stinger and, and the sliding shot especially, I was having a lot more fun than I, I think than I was with my main profile with just aiming for weak points and and that was it. So I will say that. So I think that's pretty much everything that I wanted to mention and a brief showcase of what the sword skills are. And while I'm here I'll show off the assault rifle ability. When you use the assault rifle weapon arts, you inflict blaze damage, fire damage to your enemies, so that's kind of nice if you have a high intelligence build. But like here, I'm doing a thousand damage in, in the weak point of of that scorpion with uh, with nearly every shot for the assault rifle. But with a sword, I might do like 1,500 damage, and it's not an automatic weapon, so you don't you can't put in the hits as quickly. So yeah. But briefly before I end this. Part. Um, I did want to possibly see if there were any changes to... Oh, I leveled up to 60. I, I did want to briefly watch one of the male Arphasis cutscenes to see if there was any real changes. And also for anyone wondering, this is what my Arphasis has on Tia's account. I have Power Break, Armor Break, the Stunner, Guard Field Shot, um, Graviton Shot, Curing Field Healing Shot, and Power Field Shot. So he's a high intelligence build using a sniper rifle and launcher. So is there anything different with this? レイちゃん、どうしたの you become you by interacting with us. Um, yeah, from the look of it, based on briefly of what we've seen, it's pretty much the same as the Arphasis cutscenes with the female Arphasis, so I don't really know if I'm going to show all of it because it's pretty much the same. Um, the only difference is that the Arphasis is male, so... <laughs>俺もいろいろな性格になってみたいんだ。いろいろな性格。いやいや、基本的に性格っていうのは人格一人に一つだけだよ。ぐ、ぐ。ということはもう俺は性格を変えられないのか。えっと、レイちゃんは今の自分の
それってつまりそうだでも変えようと思って変えられるもんでもないしねうーんどうしようあそうだまずは言葉遣いを変えてみればいいんじゃない言葉遣いええ言葉遣いにはその人の性格が現れるものだから特徴的な言葉遣いを真似ればその人の性格を少し体験できるかもえー、っとローンより証拠よちょっとやってみましょうだから俺はよそん時言ったわけよてめえどこに目をつけてんだってなそれでどうしたんだ相手はビビっちまったのかあったぼうよ腰抜かしながら逃げ去っていきやがったぜ<笑>そいつは面白いやスカッとする話じゃねえか Though I will admit the. or at least the voice that I've chosen for, for him, since they actually have a few more options for the Arphasis's voice, he does actually sound like he gets along with Klein in this cutscene pretty well. The only thing is, is that I am actually really glad that I chose to have a female Arphasis at the start, because. The male Arphasis, the default voice, I really didn't like all that much. So, there's that. レイちゃん上手。確かにすげえな。俺の口調を見事に真似てるぜ。褒めるな、褒めるな。俺に書かれば、こんなのお茶の子最最よ。でもね、所詮はGGOも遊びなのよ。現実にはバレットラインやバレットサークルもいないしねそうだなただ実際にはそういったシステムアシストがないと素人が相手に弾を当てるなんて至難の技だからな確かにその辺のバランスって難しいわよねリアリティの追求とエンターテインメントとしての気持ちよさをどこまで優先するか難しい問題だけど考え始めてみるとなかなか興味深いわねうわなんだかレイちゃんシノンの真似すると賢く見えるよ見えるってどういう意味だよ俺は最初から賢いだろ<笑>戻っちゃった<笑>拙者アファシスと申すものこの銃と廃墟の世界にて冒険者たちを助力する役目を仰せ使っておりますよる各々方もご用がおありのようでしたら何なりと拙者にお申し付けくだされえっとそれは誰かな先ほどお会いした冒険者の言葉遣いを真似ておりまする。その個人時代劇とやらがお好きなようでございましたサムライ言葉っていうの
I, I guess at least I've shown a taste of what he's like. <laughs> um, I, I, he, I will admit he is slightly different, but not overly different. So, pretty much, both the male and Arphasis is very similar to each other. So I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover. And I need to, <laughs> and I need to choose what skill points to use as well. So yeah, that's that's a taste of what sword combat was is like in this game, and also what the male Arphasis is remotely like. I, I guess I didn't really mention as well is that there is a sword skill called Sword Splash, which I I did try using and it really doesn't, I really didn't like it because it makes you stand in one place for at least three to five seconds, which of course leaves you extremely vulnerable to attack so unless sword barrier allows you to block bullets while you're doing that uh, sword splash is one of those skills that I would never really use uh, Yuki uses it so I mean there's that and then dual orbital requires you to use a gun and sword it kind of makes it so that you do you kind of twirl towards somebody while attacking. It's kind of like shooting a uh, sliding shot except you're spinning in the air with your your sword and gun instead. So that is a pretty good skill. Well, it looks cool anyway. Um, but I don't actually have the requirement to use sword and gun with my current sword. And also, I didn't really like using guns and swords as well because it kind of changes up the certain keys for attacking and stuff because instead of using the left mouse button to attack with your sword, it uses the left mouse button to attack with the gun instead and then you have to use like E or something to attack with the sword. It, it just feels really awkward to me. So unless I practiced a lot with it, I don't think I would really get the hang of using sword and, and gun and pretty much the only reason why I would even use it in the first place is to use dual orbital so I really don't know if I'm going to bother with that but besides that yeah I think that's pretty much everything I was gonna show on Tia's account well until until later but yeah so this is Tia in SAO fail bullet and uh, and then you can me mention to me what what you think of how she looks, uh, if she looks accurate enough, I guess. And also, I did give myself a scratch hoodie, which is apparently well, it's the name of the outfit that Premiere has, and I tried to make it in Tia's style. Of course, Tia, I mean Premiere has. A unique version of this outfit so you can't look exactly like Premiere but it's kind of in Tia's colors and also I really like the look of Yui's outfit when you change the colors of Yui's outfit so that is with a gray silverish out, um, look and for most of these outfits for Tia, I have also tried to have kind of a blue, at least something blue on it, because their original outfit from Hollow Realization had, it was mostly that blue, light blue color. So, yeah, okay, now I think I've shown everything that I wanted to for Tia's account, so... And until until later. So thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day.